Hello and welcome to our channel. We are back with another engaging video tutorial. If you're an investigator, forensic enthusiast, or anyone interested in crime scene sketching, this video tutorial is surely good for you. In this video, we will discuss crime scene sketching methods using simple steps in eDraw Max. Further, we will also outline what should be included in a crime scene sketch. So watch this tutorial till the end to learn all the basics about crime scene sketching using the floor map approach. Participate in eDraw's creative giveaway series. We Week by week, follow at Wondershare Draw on YouTube. Like and comment on videos to share your eDraw journey. Each week from February 5th to March 4th, discover the winners pinned in the comments. In the grand finale on March 4th, the last two winners of perpetual licenses will be revealed. Subscribe, engage, and unleash your creativity. Now, before we dive into the complexities of the floor map approach, let's talk about the importance of a well-structured crime scene diagram. The perfect crime scene diagram captures the details and relationships between various elements within the scene. Edra Max is among the powerful crime scene sketching methods that provide comprehensive crime scene templates, helping to accurately portray the complexities of crime scenes. It equips you with the tools to create detailed floor map designs from blood spatter patterns to bullet trajectories. And first, sketching the crime scene with measurements is foundational. It's not about illustration, but ensuring a scaled representation using Edra Max's templates. Secondly, always measure from a fixed location, like a wall, not from objects prone to movement, such as a bed. Moving on, we explore the practical use of symbols. eDraw Max's crime scene templates offer a, a range of symbols like figures, outdoor scenes, evidence markers, weapons, and callouts. These symbols serve as visual cues, enhancing clarity, and providing a quick reference point for investigators. By populating your sketch with these symbols, you can efficiently communicate intricate details of the crime scene. Continue watching this video as we will also discuss detailed floor map design tips. As we have gone through different components, let's discuss some details about the floor plan and see what's included in it. These details will help you enhance your skills when using crime scene sketching methods. To understand how floor plan helps in crime scene sketching, we would specifically use eDraw Max. For that, we have also highlighted the components of a floor plan using eDraw Max's floor plan template. As you access eDraw Max's main interface, you will find yourselves in the home tab. Look for some floor plan layouts or diagrams across its template center. In the search bar, type floor plan and view all the results under the diagram section. So at the top here, I'm gonna type out floor plan. And you can see all of the different templates here. Selecting the floor plan template using your mouse, you will open a new window where you can create your personalized design. In the door and window section on the left panel, you can find different doors and window presets with specific perimeter, where you can drag and drop it onto the canvas. Click the added element and navigate to the settings to change the perimeter and scale settings. Let's drag this in here, and then we can make any adjustments that we want by clicking on this and going to the settings up here and adjusting this however we'd like. As you can see, I can adjust the scale, the unit and precision and you can even set it to remember your selections. If you wish to insert complete home furniture and kitchen accessories within your floor plan diagram, you can use the resources available in the kitchen and dining room category. Also, you can label it with text utilizing the floor map approach in the best way. For overall structures, you can utilize the presets available in the wall, shell, and structure. Just add in an option and double click across any dimension to change the length and details according to the diagram. So you can see right here, I'm clicking on it and I can adjust any of the sections pretty easily. So as the video continues, we will now discuss general steps on how to create a rough crime scene sketch using floor plan layout before heading to the proper crime scene sketching methods. Step one, start the process by creating a straightforward sketch of the crime scene, ensuring through attention to detail. Take precise measurements of the room or area. If visiting the actual scene is not feasible, use your room as a reference to guarantee accurate proportions. This initial sketch lays the groundwork for integrating essential elements highlighted in crime scene sketch examples. Step two, proceed to determine the size of your sketch, rounding up the scale to a user-friendly number for convenience. When converting measurements, utilize different colors to enhance clarity, adhering to the floor, plan, design tips. 
chips to represent dimensions and proportions effectively. Step three, seek inspiration from images, including those from shows like Sherlock to boost your sketch. Take note of distinctive features for a detailed representation. Label measured items and outline the room's basic things, such as tables and sofas. Incorporating what must be included in a crime scene sketch for a comprehensive visual narrative. For more details, you can even mark the car appearing from the window to find any extra clues using this floor map approach. Following these crime scene sketch examples, shift focus to specific measurements to refine your sketch further. Measure critical elements such as the length of the longest wall in centimeters and determine the size of your sketching paper. Organize and calculate these measurements using a spreadsheet, adhering to floor plan layout principles for precise and accurate representation. Likewise, shift from manual sketches to a digital format using tools like eDraw Max, emphasizing the floor map approach. Use its crime scene templates and symbols tailored for figures and evidence, sticking to what must be included in a crime scene sketch. Also, integrate labels strategically to explain various aspects of the scene, thus enhancing clarity and making it one of the most most effective crime scene sketching methods. Heading into more details of crime scene sketching methods, the importance of utilizing effective templates cannot be exaggerated. Here, eDraw Max provides a set of templates designed to enhance the precision and clarity of crime scene sketches. Notable among these crime scene sketch templates are the P and ID templates and versatile floor plan templates. Ideal for complex crime scene sketch examples, P and ID templates in eDraw Max enable the representation of intricate spatial relationships with the scene. By using these templates, investigators can capture details necessary to understanding the dynamics of the crime scene, showcasing the interplay between different elements. Next, we have floor plan templates. eDraw Max's floor plan design templates are versatile tools applicable to various crime scenes. Tailored to the floor map approach, these templates are instrumental in accurately sketching the scene's layout. They encompass essential elements such as doors, windows, and furniture, offering a comprehensive foundation for investigators to create detailed representations using the floor map approach. In the processes of crime scene sketching, it is important to consider what must be included in a crime scene sketch. eDraw Max's templates linked with floor plan design tips contribute to effective sketching by ensuring that key details are systematically incorporated. Professionals can streamline the sketching process through through these templates and adhere to best practices in crime scene representation. As we are heading towards the end of this video tutorial, if you want to make your home look just the way you imagine, eDraw Max is the perfect tool. Like in crime scene sketching methods where details matter, eDraw Max has special floor map templates for designing your home. We highly recommend you building a core plan template to kickstart your creative process. To access the floor plan design, simply follow the steps performed in the video. So step one is going to be launch eDraw Max on your system and enter its main interface. Now within the home tab, search for home in the search tab. Under the template section, click on any template to open it. Here we will open home plan 10 as an example. This floor plan design serves as a blueprint for your ideas, providing a structured canvas for your imagination to flourish. Now leverage eDraw Max's grid system to align and organize your design elements following floor plan design tips. This ensures precision and symmetry. Experiment with furniture placement to achieve balance. eDraw Max allows you to easily drag and drop items such as carpet, wall shelves, dimensions, bedrooms, furniture doors, and windows from left side panels to make the floor map approach more effective. So for step two, use color coding to differentiate between different areas or zones in your home. These floor map design tips not only add visual appeal, but also aid in organizing your space effectively. Further, you can insert any text, change styles, fill the colors to shapes, draw lines, and even replace any image. Step three, to sketch more accurately, you can head to the top of the taskbar and choose the insert shadow group or ungroup items, and even rotate the shapes as needed. This floor plan design proves to be highly effective as it makes your sketch more detailed. In the world of crime scene investigation, precision and clarity are very important. And with eDraw Max V13's latest update, it is the perfect toolkit for crime scene sketching methods. Not only can you design your dream home, but eDraw Max's V13 also empowers investigators with a specialized set of symbols tailored for crime scene sketching. Moreover, whether you are designing a computer network, planning project workflows, or analyzing data flow, the network diagram eDraw Max templates provide the flexibility 
flexibility and precision you need. Plus, you can drag and drop elements to represent individuals or departments, define roles, and illustrate reporting lines. Edron Max V13 floor plan design tips empower you to create clear, visually appealing organizational charts effortlessly. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.